Let's talk about homophones. What are homophones? Homophones are words that sound the same, but are spelled differently and have different meanings. Can you think of any homophones? Did you think about one and one? Or maybe you thought of hair and hair. Or maybe you thought of right and right. Or maybe you even thought about rain and rain. As you can tell, homophones sound the exact same, but they are spelled differently. And as you can tell from the pictures, they have very different meanings. So, how do you know which homophone to use? Hmm, you're going to have to use the definition of the word. Let's try some together. What about right or right? Think about the different meanings of those two rights. W-R-I-T-E means to mark on a surface, like you write something down. R-I-G-H-T is a direction like left and right. Now let's read our paragraph. Look for clues to help you decide which right goes in the blank. Peter looked left and right. He looked up and down. He could not find his lucky pencil. He decided to grab a pen and write down everywhere that he had gone over the last few hours. Maybe this would help him remember where he had left his lucky pencil. Let's look at our first sentence. He looked left and right. Which right goes in that blank? If you chose R-I-G-H-T, you are correct because that is a direction. Now let's look at the second sentence. He decided to grab a pen and write down everywhere that he had gone over the last few hours. Which right goes in that blank? If you chose W-R-I-T-E, you are correct because Peter is writing something down. Good job. Let's try another one. One or one. One, O-N-E, is the number one. W-O-N is a victory such as you won the game. Now let's look at our paragraph. Jeremy was excited about the basketball game. His team had won every game so far. They were playing the toughest team in the league. Jeremy knew he had one chance to play his best and lead his team to a victory. Let's think about that first sentence. Which one goes in that blank? If you chose W-O-N, you are correct. Good job. Which one goes in the second blank? If you chose O-N-E, you are correct. Good job. Now you are ready to try it on your own.